San Francisco's mayor says tonight that car break-ins are down at a big garage off Union Square. The Sutter Stockton garage is one of many owned by the city's municipal transportation agency. The mayor says improvements are expected in many of them. ABC 7 News reporter Melanie Woodrow is live from Bush and Grant Streets with details. Uh, Melanie, this has become an epidemic. They're finally dealing with it. Yeah, and we have good news today for residents and for really anybody who visits the city of San Francisco. This is part of a safety program that will soon expand to all public parking garages in the city. Stephen Shepard and Katrina Serrano are here from San Diego. They parked their vehicle in the Sutter Stockton garage for two days while they've been sightseeing. I saw all the signs, the warning, and yeah, we kind of thought uh, we should check out the car before we go. We didn't know. While families vacation, others are staking out their vehicles. I call this criminal tourism, and it actually must stop. Today, the mayor, police chief, and director of transportation announced an 83% decrease in the number of car break-ins at the Sutter Stockton garage in Union Square. This is a team effort. Improvements include fencing, lighting, signage, high-definition cameras, and a dedicated foot patrol officer. Thieves aren't just stealing stuff. Last year, someone broke into Julia Wilkinson's rental car at the Fisherman's Wharf garage and stole her father's ashes. Wilkinson was visiting from North Carolina to spread them in her father's favorite city. A few days later, someone turned her father's ashes into an undercover officer. And earlier this year, a known criminal targeting cars in the Sutter Stockton garage threw a five-year-old chihuahua off the seventh floor during a car break-in. The only way the police were able to identify the perpetrator was because of a private dashboard camera that captured the entire crime. Officials say they are not declaring victory yet. You see a Park Smart sign behind us, not a mission accomplished sign. Still, the future looks promising. Reforms will be implemented at all 22 city owned garages by the end of next year or early 2020. In San Francisco, Melanie Woodrow, ABC 7 News.